morning guys how's it going so got the tent set up uh what might be just in time we're not supposed to be getting any full-on rain uh, but as I started to set that up, we was getting some sprinkles. It's kind of that one of those 30, 40% overcast days. Um, so this is the light fighter tent that I got from Misty Mountain Supply up in Old Canada. And if you've seen the previous videos, you'll remember that one side has a messed up zipper. Um, I tried to repair it, but ultimately I ended up using these um, tent fabric staple type things. And I mean, I think they're just used for sewing stuff in general. But that's what is clipping the lower side down. Um, it's pretty tight, and I've had this in like a pretty light shower before, and it was fine. If it was to rain pretty hard, then I could always take and run a strip of gorilla tape down that zipper but all in all i think we'll be fine even if it does um precipitate a bit more but i mean there's already some that's collected a bit um on the rain fly itself but should be good to go there so yeah surplus tent um you know using some military gear that is currently uh, being used by different forces i just seen everything i got a shipment from mre mountain uh yesterday so I wanted to take and just kind of got me in the mood to want to use some of my surplus stuff and then some of my uh, just current uh, in-use military type items. And now that the greenery is breaking out, uh, this is a Rhodesian brushstroke uh, camo set from uh, Fire Force Ventures. And uh, this is the first time, because I know you guys have seen the, uh, the West German Sup Suptarn, I think is how you pronounce it. And I've been uh, wearing that quite a bit because it was really comfortable. It's the exact same uh, cut of clothing. It's just more of a uh, like fall type camo. Um, but I'm going to be wearing this one a bit um, and testing it out now that uh, all the leaves and stuff are coming out. I know there's a ton of bees because these laurels, some of these laurels are starting to really bud out. Um, so there's a lot of bumblebees flying around. But yeah, just going to take and have a nice relaxing time uh, in the mountain tonight. I'm going to take and go ahead and get a fire going. The flying insects still really haven't come out yet uh, due to the fact that the temps have still been dropping down tonight. It's only going to be getting down to uh, 54 based on what the weather says. So just going to be using our snug pack jungle bag. Uh, the other thing too is you might notice that this is the same spot that we bivy camped at a week, week and a half ago. And I wanted to come back to this spot because it was crawling with ticks. And I took and I sprayed this, um, this here set down in my boots. The only thing I forgot to spray was this hat. But sorry, I sprayed this all down with permethrin. Um, and so far, not found a single tick on me. Um, but we do know that there's a ton of them here. Because I, I, I can't remember. I think we ended up finding eight ticks uh, last time we was staying in this exact same spot. So just do a good little test there. And I took and come across something nifty. So this log here that uh, has been kind of behind our fire pit area, the, uh, the end that was actually closest to the stump is pretty much rotted out. But right here, there's a bit of a dip, like a swag in it. And, um, you know, who knows how long ago, whenever this thing fell down, a bit of the sap collected here, so we have some fat wood. Um, so I want to take these chunks out. This is by no means saturated or impregnated fat wood, but it's coming off in these strips whenever I take and start to chip away at it with the hatchet. So I'm gonna peel these back and they still have a decent turpentine smell. Some pieces are more impregnated than others, but I'm wanting to uh, try some of the storm matches that I had left from one of those 24 hour British MREs. Put these down and just get some of these long pieces with thin sharp edges and it should take a light from the match from a match no problem and it's really just right in this bend where the sap kind of run down and collected and there's just veins of it and that's what i'm talking about when i say it's just kind of 
laid in different sections of the wood. Alrighty, so I've got some of the UCO store matches in here as well, but these, these are the ones that come in the British 24-hour um, MRE. So I've got my fat wood situated, and I got this other stuff on standby. Could be pretty universal. Alrighty, well I've got. The striker. I feel like these have a waxier end. I feel like the UCO ones would be fine with the striker paper that's on this. Okay. Should be in business now. It's not exactly what I wanted to have happen, but just need to space everything out to where it gets enough air to not smother itself. Yeah, here in my part of the eastern woodlands, there's not a ton of birch trees, but fatwood is readily available if you know where and how to find it. It's very sooty, but it burns hot and it burns for a long time. It kind of it extends the burn time of what this pine would be if it was uh, just regular dry wood without the uh, the sap in it. I found these pine cones too laying around, so. And then since we got ourselves surrounded by a nice tent, we aren't going to need the bug net around the face. And then the bug netting just stuffs inside of that little pocket area there. We are good to go.
<clears throat> oh, so yeah, it uh, it actually has come a bit of um, a bit of a light rain. So I'm just keep an eye. There's a bit of an overlap where I've got that um, staple job done. So I mean, anything that does kind of come through uh, around that zipper should get redirected down because I don't think it's going to uh, rain any harder than this. I've got a poncho with me, but just a lot easier to. Um, take and hop in here and and zip the fly up and chill out for a bit um i'm starting to get hungry we probably got okay i'll watch what we got yeah we probably got a solid 20 minutes until the sun sets 30 at the most um it's starting to get back further and further you know as we start to get into uh as we get closer to summer um just gonna sit here and enjoy the rain for a bit and i'll get back with y'all whenever it's time to crack open our MRE. So out of that new case of 12 MREs, I just reached in and grabbed a random one, threw it in the bag. So we got menu number five, chicken chunks, uh, white cooked. I'm sure I've had this one before, but... It's definitely been a while, so I don't really remember okay and there's candy in here so we should probably back away from this fire so we don't melt it i'm gonna try to keep this bag a little intact okay here we got our tortilla baked snack crackers with uh, cheddar cheese Ooh, okay we got Fat free mayonnaise. I don't I think that might be something that's brand new for these uh new MREs because I don't think mayonnaise has ever really been something that has went in here. Here is cheese spread. I don't think this is the jalapeno, this is just plain cheese spread. Reese's pieces. Got a lemon beverage powder. Marble pound cake. I'm really interested to see what the new pound cakes like because I've actually really always Enjoyed the pound cake in these so accessory packet chewing gum matches uh, napkin wet towelette salt And I actually brought uh, some extra hot sauce with me in case this one didn't have it Because I wasn't sure what I was going to be in here as well as my spice kit Okay, this is our white chicken chunks and then flameless ration heater, cardboard sleeve, spoon, and that is it. But yeah, first things first, I need to go ahead and get our chicken in here and our cheese so they can be warming up. And I guess we'll just put the chicken, cheese, and mayonnaise on the tortilla. Seems like the best course of action. I'll have to refresh my memory for next time with what all the new additions are to the latest production run of MREs because I know it's a handful of things took and packed in so I had my uh, my vault can uh, titanium canteen I carried it on my shoulder I, I finished it not long after I got here now I brought in two liters of water in these uh, hydro pack hard water bottles like they're plastic hard water bottles I think I'm going to skip the lemon drink powder. It's got 20 grams of sugar in it, and 20 grams of sugar would just make me a lot thirstier. Perfect. But I know that the lemon drink mix, unless they've changed the formula completely, is very good. And well, these are brand new, these heaters, we shouldn't have any issue with them working as long as we're going to be using 
this new case. Hey, that moth is about to slam me in the noggin. Try to get that heater nice and moist. Which side is our recoil pouch on? Now we'll put the cheese on the side. These cheddar cheese crackers almost sound like what you would call cheeses. I don't know. Oh, okay. I think these are cheeses. If not, it's a knockoff. But these cheeses is one of my favorite snacks. Now, one of my favorite things to do when I was in like sixth or seventh grade. It was whenever like the final two seasons of King of the Hill was coming out, and I'd always take him, like whenever the new episode would come out at night, I'd get a box of Cheez Its, sit down and watch the new episode like it was a ritual. And depending on the flavor of that cheese, since I got my spice kit. It's tempting to also throw some Old Bay on there since it's chicken, but I think I'll just go with black pepper. And these haven't been creased too much yet, so I think we'll actually still be able to wrap these up without them breaking on us. Oh, the hard part's going to be splitting this uh, perfectly between, oh, added cheese is definitely hot, uh, between two tortillas. So that right there looks like some actually nice tender chicken. You know what I'm going to do to make my life easier? I'm actually just going to put the cheese and mayonnaise in this pocket. <clears throat> I'm actually going to put, yeah, I'm going to put a little bit of pepper first. And then. And these things have tear notches, but a lot of times, whenever you uh, just go straight from the tear notch, these things will want to uh, just kind of split down the side on you. So, and me personally, I can never get enough mayonnaise. So, hopefully, it's decent mayonnaise. Oh yeah, that is actually really good. The pepper though adds a lot to it. Yep, they knocked this one out of the park. Now check myself over. The bathroom is doing its job because there's not I've not found a single tick on me. And I've been moving around going in between like laurels and stuff, getting wood for the fire. So there's no doubt that I've probably come in contact with some. And I'd say like the nice thing about this menu in particular, 
is as long as you get the cheese to mix in well, this one would be just like it would be just as pleasant if it was cold. Okay, so. Pound cake, 9.5 out of 10. Whatever they do to preserve these cakes like this, to make, like, keep them as moist. <clears throat> it can't be good for you, but it's very tasty. Oh, and then the final thing is the Reese's Pieces, but that's uh, like these are something you can get at your closest gas station. Mm. It is time to hit the hay. Uh, and there is a um, a slight chance of precipitation, so went ahead and put uh, my backpack underneath uh, underneath this side of the rainfall. I could take and pass it through to the other side, but there's really no no point because this fits just fine underneath here with most of the gear and stuff out of it. And I hadn't seen any ants or anything around my tent. So we should be good to go. So yeah guys, with uh, all that said, I will uh, talk to y'all in the morning. <clears throat> Good morning guys, how's it going? It looks like we ended up uh, on the, uh, the the wrong or right side of the lower percentage of chance of rain because it started raining uh, probably about two and a half, three hours ago and it's just been this uh, kind of slow, consistent pitter-patter and rain since then, but I am very happy that there is absolutely no water got in here the, this bit of discoloration is just where um the moisture from the ground has uh you know showing itself on the bottom of the tent but there's no no moisture and then these few drops you might see right here is just from where um i opened the fly to go out and pee this morning but yeah the the staple job type deal that I did with the zipper um, has worked perfectly uh, like worked way better than I thought but it is mainly because of this uh, overlapping um, piece of material on the fly and the fact that you have the velcro there to keep it in place because like on the one that I, I zip back and forth um, I tend to try to keep that velcro undone just because it gets um, frustrating to constantly I have to screw with um, you know operating it but yeah the temps i feel like the temps uh, got a little bit lower this morning uh due to the rain i uh, just i think they kind of dropped the temperature overall probably two to five degrees but this uh snug pack sleeping bag i gotta say the jungle bag is just you know four thumbs up to me um it's just really comfortable 
and I've just really enjoyed using it. A sleeping pad, you know, with this extra thickness, that's the nice thing about having um, a pad of this thickness. If your tent was to uh, leak and you had any water come in to the flooring area, uh, this elevates you up, you know, enough to where you really wouldn't even have to worry about it aside from anything that was to uh, hang over the edges in the night but you can keep things tucked in pretty tight but yeah all in all the uh you know this light fighter surplus tent <clears throat> has uh proved itself once again and uh, it's just really nice to get it out i wish you know that made more tents in multi-cam or with camouflage rain flies i know it's really not that important but it's just uh I think it just adds to the overall experience, in my opinion. Uh, I do know for a fact I will be using this, um, the tent body itself uh, without the fly. Like, I'll be leaving the fly uh, at home and then taking this out and uh, using a tarp over it because this thing just has phenomenal um, ventilation and mesh all the way around 360 degrees. So whenever it starts to like, warm up and, and get more humid... Uh, that's really nice to have that's my favorite way to to run a tent if that's what i'm going for yeah guys that is going to do it for this one so as always really appreciate to kind of watch the video please hit that thumbs up button it really helps subscribe if you have not already share the channel with your friends family anybody enjoys good old outdoor activities if you're interested in any of the gear any of the surplus places where i pick this stuff up any of the new gear um make sure you check the links down in the video description because i try to link to everything that is still um available and you know some of the best prices and stuff like that um, make sure you get that comment section thoughts opinions questions what have you and uh, until the next one guys adios